everyone, this is Jessica here. Hi everyone, this is Stella. This is Nina and today I'll be making Valentine's Day chocolate for non sweet members. Yay! Hello, this is Emily and I'm coming at you from my kitchen. Hello everyone, welcome to Muse Kitchen. Yay! Since Valentine's Day is coming soon, we thought it'd be fun to do a little content where each member makes chocolates for the other members. So I went shopping today, I just came back and I bought a bunch of stuff I need to make the chocolate. It's actually my first time making chocolates. Usually for Valentine's Day, I buy pre-made ones. Yeah, I've never made them myself before. So I'm a little scared, but hopefully they'll turn out okay. So yeah, I'm gonna try making the chocolate. I have made cakes, I have made cookies, I have made Rice Krispie Squares, whatever. I I like to bake, but I've never made chocolates. And I actually don't really think it's a thing in North America to make chocolates. Like, usually you just go to the store and, and buy chocolates for someone on Valentine's Day. I thought it would be cute if I make a dried fruit chocolate bar for everyone. So I've got my dark chocolate here, as well as my ruby chocolate and orange because I'm gonna dry it and then put it on top uh, of the chocolate bar to make it look cute. So there's a bit of a decoration work going on so it looks like all night. And also because electric orange, so I put orange. So today I'll be making chocolate truffles. Apparently it's one of the easiest chocolate to make and it tastes delicious. I decided to make two different flavors and one is just the regular one. I bought the coca powder. And then also matcha powder. <laughs> the one thing I didn't really expect was like, I bought one box and that would be enough, but I didn't really check how many grams it in there. So I'll probably only be able to make 16 bowls. So barely enough for the members, I think. We're supposed to be filming the reveal tomorrow and I'm starting today. So hopefully my first batch is a good batch and I don't have to make it again. <laughs> I'm going to be making chocolate shuffles. I'm going to be using chocolate that's already been made because I don't want to poison anyone. <laughs> so I'm going to be using half dark chocolate and then half milk chocolate. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this video and let's get started. Here we go. Let's get started. So let's get started. Let's get started. I'm doing it. Whee. Okay, I've got the white. Time for the white chocolate. Time to drizzle. The, ch the chocolate's getting ready. God, there's chocolate everywhere. It's really hot. What the heck? Go ham! Woo! I'm burning myself. <laughs> Did it for these chocolates. Did it for these chocolates. <sighs> well, that was a little crazy, wasn't it? Maybe I made the hole too big. Okay, this looks kind of crazy, but I think like when they're all like separated, it's gonna look really cute. Look how cute this looks! <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> that didn't go well. So I'm just gonna decorate it. Just cover that up. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Let's let that dry. Okay, I finished the chocolates, woo! Barely survived, but we made it. You can decide if this is a win or fail. <laughs> it was my first time, so I tried my best. I'm gonna put them in these little goodie bags. And then I also found in my stationery these like really cute little um, message cards with bunnies and I'm gonna write the members' names on it and present it to them. So we'll see you tomorrow when we have to give out the chocolates. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my God. Okay.
think I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I think my heavy cream is a little bit too hot. What the heck? Let's try this again. Chocolate chunks cookie. Like you can just like put this in the um in the oven. Okay, according to this tutorial, it's supposed to be glossy. It is glossy. Oh, it's so pretty. It smells so good. Look at it. Bite size. Okay, it looks like this now. Yay! It looks not too bad, right? Other than this mess. But I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for a little bit just so it sets better. Because earlier it was like really mushy, right? So if you put it in the fridge, it should be set. So I'm going to try making chocolate candy. So I bought some chocolate molds from Dollar Store. It's really cute. A little wooden stick, some milk chocolate, some white chocolate. I bought two packs because I want to try making like strawberry chocolate. I blended some frozen strawberries here. And then I bought some icing pans to decorate afterwards. Try to mix it with strawberry. Just mix. Mm. Okay, so now I have strawberry white chocolate. Why, but the strawberry doesn't harden at all. It's still very liquidy. I guess I'll just use the white and the milk chocolate. Okay, so they're all hardened now. I think they're not as bad. It would be look it's cute. And I just have to pack them. I'm gonna start off by well I already washed them and I'm gonna go ahead and start slicing them as thin as I can. to the oven. I am currently preheating it to 250 degrees. 
hopefully in an hour or so they will be all dried. While I'm waiting for it, I'm probably just gonna go start making the chocolate. So I'm gonna start with the ruby bar because I kind of want to make them into like, I have this like little candy mold. So I kind of want to like put them on top of the chocolate. the chocolate feels like it's at room temperature I'm gonna pop back into the microwave for 30 second ish I have these paper kind of mold stuff they were not meant for chocolate but I figured I could just use them and when I want to take them out I could just cut them now let's pour our chocolate in and then after that we can like decorate it When I was um, decorating them, I didn't know that my phone died, but uh, I put them in the fridge after decorating them and they are now done! I'm just gonna put them into like some small baggies so I could bring them to share with everyone tomorrow, but I'm excited! So for my chocolates, I'm going to use I need chocolate and I have to cut it up. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, I finished cutting the chocolates. I'm now in this bowl. This bowl is definitely too small for um, mixing chocolate later, but I don't have a bigger bowl. So hopefully this bowl can withstand the heavy cream that I have to add to it now. <laughs> I'm going to simmer some of this thick cream, which I googled. Apparently thick cream is the same as heavy cream. It's the same as whipping cream. So I hope that's true. Because if it's not, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, so <laughs> we're using this. Gross, it's yucky! So I really hope Google's right, because I want to give the members something nice. <laughs> this is my first time making chocolates. Making chocolates. Um, so I don't really know. Okay, I mixed it and it looks a lot better now. That looks better now, okay. It says to pour it evenly on top of the chocolate. Why does it look like that? Okay, new plan. Um, because the chocolate is not melting, I have to boil some water and just stir it until it finally melts. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have some grainy, goofy chocolate. <laughs> I'm a little sad, but it's okay. <laughs> Here is our sad failure chocolate. I'm gonna put this in the fridge now. So it's only been about 15 minutes since the chocolates have been in the fridge, but I've sort of decided that these ones are kind of a fail and I'm gonna redo them <laughs> tomorrow morning before everyone arrives. So those ones will be a surprise, but hopefully they will be better than what I made today. <laughs> so yeah. Hello everyone, we are non-sweet. We have made Valentine's Day chocolates. Yay! 
And we each made enough chocolates for each of the members. Yes. How did everyone's chocolate making experience go? You want to go first? Oh, um, well, I didn't <laughs> want to talk about my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys saw in the video, I, I made chocolates and I kind of messed up at the end, like pretty badly. So in the video, I was like, I'll just remake them tomorrow. And then this morning, I made them three more times. So. <laughs> I love cooking, I love baking, but I hate making chocolate because how difficult it is. Like you have to temper it to the right temperature so it like solidifies the yeah. right way and it doesn't look ugly and has like those white things on top of it. Yeah. What white things? Like sometimes like when it's heated too much, it'll start getting like goopy, which is what happened to me. Okay. And then I put it in the Super. fridge. It just like would separate into like a grease layer, yeah. And then the chocolate, so that, it looks really gross. Yeah, that is wow. like I think I took the easy, easy way out. I did did a different way, so it wasn't that bad. But there was hardships. But I got <laughs> 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 for you. Fun. Yeah, let's try everybody's chocolate. Uh, Yay. Who else goes first? Yeah, who else to go first? Before, before we start, uh, I want to make this a little more interesting. So when when we try each member's chocolate, we're all gonna rate it based on presentation and taste, like together. So oh my god! Like how good the chocolate is. There's no like loser in this. It's just like it's just like it's a just so you guys as the audience can good. like have an idea of like what yeah. these chocolates are like. I was thinking out of five. I was to be, like gentle because okay. out of ten is like a little too many. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, rock, rock paper, scissors. scissors. Uh, okay, you and I. Okay. okay. Uh, paper, scissors. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Well, it's yes. But the standard will be high. I know. I know. Good. Did you package for each of us? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. Wait, what is that? Oh, a star shape. Okay, well, now I need to go. There's a cat on care. it. Look at that. It's dark chocolate. Oh it has um, dried orange on it. Hopefully, no one's allergic to orange. <laughs> Yay. Okay, here we go. It's probably pretty bitter, but... Oh, it's soft. Mm -hmm. It is soft? Yeah. That means I didn't temper it at the right temperature, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> I like it. Imagine you couldn't eat those. How would you eat this? Let's break the chocolate. I'll start first. Mm -hmm. I think presentation, five out of five, like it's really, it's really pretty. Thank you. Like it's really, really pretty. Um, in terms of taste, like a 4.5. Mm -hmm. It is a little basic, but also it's like, I taste like a little tiny bit of like graininess. Mm -hmm. But it's still really good, like I'll eat this whole thing. Other than yeah. the, the orange, but like, you can eat that. <laughs> presentation, five out of five. Taste. I will say four out of five, but because I like sweet things. But yeah, no, I, that's but fair. someone who appreciates dark chocolate would very much like this. Yay! Presentation is definitely five out of five. I love the bear. The taste I personally really like dark chocolate, so definitely five out of five for me. Yay. Wow. It's like perfect dark chocolate taste. I think it's same for me too. Five out of five for presentation because I like the sweet decoration. Yeah. <laughs> and five out of five for uh, taste. Mm -hmm. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have like the sweet people and we yeah. have like the like, like, dark chocolate <laughs> people. Five, five. Yeah. Maybe Nina? Nina? Yeah. yeah. Okay. After Jessica the chocolate, I'm kind of... <laughs> so I made chocolate truffles. Um, one flavor is just cocoa powder mm. and another one is matcha. Wait, didn't you make it this morning? I did. It's okay. <laughs> I did. So you guys can choose like which flavor you guys like. I want to try the matcha one. I want to try the matcha one. I want to try chocolate. Like, okay, here we go. Mm. What is the made texture? Is really nice. Um, I use also seventy percent chocolate bar, yeah. and I add heavy cream. I think that's like really basic for chocolate chips. Mm. Yeah. Usually they tell you to melt it um, with like you you put like water at the bottom and then you kind of melt it. Mm. But then I use microwave because I'm right out of time. No, actually microwave is fine too. I use microwave yeah. as well. Okay, I'm gonna rate mine. So presentation. A three out of five. It's, it's very five. average. <laughs> but also, I would put mine also at least a three out of five. We have the same type of chocolate. In terms of taste, I would give this probably a four. Because I think the chocolate itself is really smooth and yummy. Mm -hmm. There's just too much powder on it. Yeah. Mm. I think for presentation, I will give it... I think four is, is mm -hmm. fine. It reminds me of, yeah, truffles and stuff. So I'm used to seeing that. For taste, I will give it a 3.5. The inside is very delicious, but it's powdery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Presentation, 
but I like it still. I think for presentation, I give it four out of five. I think it's pretty standard, and like chocolate truffles in general just look like that. Mm -hmm. Like it's not very regularly shaped. Taste wise, four out of five as well. Yeah, the powder is like a little bit thick for presentations. Four out of five. I think for taste. Four out of five because I like drinking like tea or coffee like really sweet, so mm -hmm. I think it'd be good for this one. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. yeah, we should have tea. Yeah, yeah I don't have tea in my house. I didn't. <laughs> That's chocolate. I just want to get mine over with. <laughs> so <laughs> they're also truffles like Nina's. Mine is half milk chocolate, half dark chocolate, which was my mistake. Why Don't be so, so harsh hard? on yourself. No, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just explaining. I think the reason why I had so much trouble with my chocolate is because during like the melting process, when you're adding the heavy cream, my milk chocolate would melt really fast. Like, obviously, it's like softer, but then the dark chocolate wouldn't melt. So I would keep stirring it, like please melt. But then the longer it's on the heat, the the more like the heavy cream starts to curdle, and then it'll like burn the chocolate. So that just kept happening. These chocolates. They're like slightly burned, but also they have like little chunks in them of like Okay, yeah, I so get it. So just be prepared. I just, so yeah, I have um, cocoa powder dusting and then also coconut shedding. I love uh, coconut. Try. Yeah, I, I want to try coconut, coconut too. I love coconut. For yeah. Rosha. Okay. <laughs> I heard the crunch. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> This is really good. Is it? Yeah. It tastes good. Oh, I'm this so tastes good. so good. I'm so glad. But I love coconut too. So. Okay, let's we'll start off with Emily. Taste? Five out of five. Really? Mm. Like, I like sweets, so yeah. of course I'm gonna like it. And I love coconut. <laughs> the look? I actually think they look pretty good. They're like pretty round and I don't know. This looks good. I would say four out of five. Oh, thank you. That's okay. <laughs> I'll say taste. I give it four. I actually quite like the mix. Well, I mean, it's kind of weird to say this because it's chunky in there, but like, I actually don't mind it. It's I don't actually, mind it. Yeah, it's actually kind of like so a good balance. Because oh. you have like the really sweet, because I'm not a super sweet person mm -hmm. in terms of like taste. Presentation, I think it looks good. I mean, it's pretty standard four out of five because kind of similar. For me, presentation is 4.5 because I never really think of like using coconut powder because I'm not really not, not coconut flake because I'm not really the coconut person no. and then like taste actually I do hope it could be a, just a little bit harder I think maybe just put it in the fridge for a little bit longer mm -hmm. would be really good too so I'll give it also like 4 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for me it's 5 5 out of 5 for presentation Yay. Yay. coconut it's <laughs> <laughs> cute and for taste I would give 4.5 just like I wish it was a little bit harder. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys are being so nice. I feel like I've been so hard on everyone else and everyone's being so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually excited for yours because they look really, really cute. Oh my god, you have oh. a lot for everyone. Look at them, guys. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh. I love the sprinkles. Oh, you guys have to look nice. at the sprinkles. There's oh diamonds god. on them. I know. There's I diamonds on them. I found diamond sprinkles. Whoa, so I wow. Where did you get them? At Superstore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared though because I'm not a cook. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a cook. I was thinking about maybe doing strawberries actually, but mm. it didn't work out. Strawberry actually has like a higher chance of failing if you don't I know, I was control worried. the water. That's what happened to me. Oh, really? Did you try to make strawberries? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna make mine. Mm -hmm. So presentation, I give it a five out of five. Yeah. I think it's super cute, and I like that each one is kind of like like a different kind of like design to it. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. I really like it. In terms of taste, I would get it a four. Yeah, I still really like it. Like, I would eat all of them, so. Wow, thank you for being so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I would give the same mark. Definitely super cute for presentation. It's just too sweet for me because I'm more of like a bitter chocolate kind of person. Oh. Yeah, actually pretty similar to me too. I love this drink. <laughs> like it has like a cute like diamond shape. It's like color, really, really colorful too. Yeah, really it's just so fun to look at. Yeah. yeah, and even the package, not just the chocolate, but outside package looks really cute. <laughs> oh yeah, it has like bunny. bunny. Definitely five out of five. And taste wise, I'll give it a four just because I'm I'm not super sweet chocolate person. Same for me. Five out of five for presentation because it's really colorful, cute. It reminds me of unicorn. Yes! Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, it's really cute and for taste, also four out of five because I really like sweets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, final one! I want to be the last one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, are these like cake pop? Wait! Oh, they're like 